So now that you have Bitcoin, the next thing to do is to download a wallet so that you can uh, securely store it and you can send it and you can receive it. Um, so you can think about a wallet similar to a bank account uh, in which you hold your funds and you can uh, certainly transact with it. Uh, what's different about a Bitcoin wallet is, is, is every wallet has um, digital keys and, and Bitcoin addresses and, and digital signatures. These are the, the, the three primary things that make up a wallet. So um, think about the keys uh, similar to, uh, there's a public and a private key and think about a public key similar to your uh, bank account number. Um, certainly, it's it's something that you want to keep somewhat secure, but it's not uh, extremely critical. But the private key, which is similar to your bank account PIN, um, is something you absolutely want to keep secure. So if someone were to get your public and private key, similar to your bank account number and your PIN, obviously they then have access to, to your funds. Um, so there's different ways to keep uh, keep that secure and it's really a, a mix of convenience and privacy and security. Um, so one of the ways uh, is through downloading a software wallet and, and that could be the original Bitcoin QT client um, and there's others out there that, that certainly exist as well. Um, this is the actual wallet that is running uh, locally on your laptop or, or desktop computer and it gives you ultimate control over your information and your keys. Um, you store them, you have uh, control over them, however you're giving up some convenience so then you're um, required to make sure that your information is properly backed up and that your computer does not get compromised, uh, that sort of thing. There's also a mobile wallet uh, in which uh, you can download an application and have your Bitcoin right on your phone. So whether it's an uh, iPhone or, or Android-based uh, phone, you can download an app and uh, certainly use your, your Bitcoin from anywhere. And, and obviously with this, there's, again, different uh, variations. So some uh, mobile wallets will allow you to store the keys directly on the phone. So again, you have more control over it. Um, and then again, you are obviously... Um, required to take care of that information, uh, whether it's backups and, and the proper security. Uh, there's also services that are available in which uh, the management of keys and the information is, is done by a third party. So you get more convenience in, in that you're not uh, required to, to do those things, but then someone else also has uh, access to, to that information. So if they were to get compromised, um, certainly your Bitcoin could be at risk. Um, there's also a web wallet, so similar to how you log into your internet banking, uh, you'd log into a, a web wallet online and be able to uh, you know, buy and sell Bitcoin, send and receive, view transactions, uh, those sorts of things. In, in that case, again, you're, you're risking your, your keys to a third party, so you have to make sure you're, you're using a trusted service to ensure that that, that information will be um, kept secure. There's also a hard, hardware wallet. So uh, think about a, a small uh, USB stick. Um, they um, typically um, no, no larger than that and again it's uh, more of an offline uh, wallet in which uh, the keys are, are centrally managed there. You can still uh, do transactions. Um, but it's uh, essentially a, a physical device in which you're uh, in control of. Um, and similar to that is a paper wallet. So um, it's exactly what it sounds. It's a piece of paper with uh, a public uh, key QR code and your private key QR code. And, um, and those together then give access to, to the Bitcoin. Um, so in the case of a, a hardware wallet and a paper wallet, um, it gives you some... Um, sense of security um, in that you're in control of your your Bitcoin and you could take it to a safe or a bank and store it there to make sure it's secure. Um, but if those things ever get lost or stolen, uh, certainly your Bitcoin is, is certainly at risk. Um, and so there's a website uh, called Bitcoin.org in which we'll walk you through uh, the selection of the proper wallet based on if you want a software, uh, a mobile wallet, um, a hardware or, or simply a paper wallet. So I'd uh, certainly check that out to, uh, 
make the best decision on, on what wallet is right for you.